So, just picked up my copy of Pokemon Y, and I'm holding off on playing it just so I can record more episodes of this for you guys. Thank me later. It's vague time, enough of that. So why am I back here after, you know, like, backtracking to get back here? Because there was easy to grab stuff that I missed, like these leather boots, for example. Oh, don't want that. But as you can see, I could have gotten a fist much earlier had I so desired. There's this, the soul orb. It's under your relics. It allows the user to recognize how much damage an enemy has received. So yeah, you're obviously intended to get that pretty much right away. No, I can see damage values. And you can too, because you're watching me. That's a knife. You can use it to throw stuff, or, you know, get different... Th whatever. Holy Book's better. Ow. I got hit by a zombie. Clearly I'm the best at this game. Oh, hey, look at this. Rainbow Juice? Life Max Up! It increases your max health and fully restores your HP. Well, no getting through that. Yet. Actually, no getting through that for a while. Pop. What's back here? Here we have the Shrine of the Apostates. We're greeted with a big, impassable wall, and a shiny treasure, which we can't reach. We can also tell that it's guarded by a boss. We'll be getting that later. Possibly in this episode, if I'm quick. In any event, now I need to cut back to where we were before. Stupid zombies. Lucky me, a skeleton arbor happened to- or a skeleton warrior, I think, happened to drop one of these. Armor made from a rubber-like soft material. Two extra defense. Sweet. And we're back. Take a look at that. Right back to where we were. Up. Who? Up. So it's the first thing we do, we promptly proceed to get owned. By every enemy in sight. Oh hey, what's this? Redstone. Yeah. You can equip it to increase strength by two and add fire to and add fire element to your whip. Now enemies that are weak to fire take extra damage. But enemies that aren't will or resist fire will take less. So try to keep resistances in mind if you know what they are. Well you're in an inconvenient position. Tried to get all fancy. Didn't work. Big staircase of justice. Jerk. Give me that potion. Oh, hey, an anti venom. And a uh, heart max up that we can't actually reach. There's something over there. It's really shiny. You need it to get you need it to access it two of the game's three endings. We can't reach it yet. Oh, we can't we can grab this heart max up though. So yeah, remember this room. You need to come back here. At least if you want to get more than just, you know, the first ending. Plus that item is very useful to have. Ow. Sure, let's just run into all the enemies. Face first. What's over here? A knife. OH NO MURDER! <laughs> RUN AWAY! <laughs> that is a victory armor. They're worth a lot of experience points, but they're also incredibly hard to beat. Chances are, you'll probably just die if you try to fight one. Unless you're, like, really skilled. Which I'm clearly not. So yeah, it's probably best to just leave that guy alone until you're stronger. Then you can come back later and trash him. Oh hey, two potions and an anti-venom. Guess one of the skeleton dudes dropped one. I mean, if you had a bunch of potions, you could probably just try to tank your way through him, but... Uh, ow! 
as you can see from my obvious display of great finesse and skill, I could not beat that guy. I could beat him with heavy save state abuse, but I can't really do that because it glitches the video sideways. I've taken like a bajillion damage. Isn't there a save point near here? Refresh me! Oh, hey! Fairy Journal! Oh, not spell books. Allows the user to recognize the names of his enemies. The Wailing Way! This is a little bit more difficult than the previous areas we've seen. First of all, you've got these ghosts that keep spawning infinitely. Which is annoying. Also, we got rock armors. If I'm correct, rock armors resist fire, don't they? Let's try on equipping the firestone and see how my damage changes doesn't. So I'm wrong, clearly. If you wanted to, you could go into the enemy glossary to check enemy weaknesses and resistances, but only one, but they only get logged in the glossary if you've defeated them once. Ah! Ghosts! <laughs> Scary. That was a mana... Prism? Potion? Was I didn't see what it was. I think it's a mana prism. Anyway, restore some MP when you use it. Oh right, this is why you want to do or unequip the Firestone for this area. Bone Pillars. These do resist fire. Come here. They just sit there and shoot fireballs at you. Like jerks. Or flamethrowers. Come here. Come here. Yeah. There we go. Better to take those guys in four, out in four hits instead of five, don't you think? Whatever. Wait. Nothing. Wonderful. Just what I've always wanted. A big sack full of nothing. Eh, there's armor up there, but we can't reach it. I keep saying we. I'm really getting into this LP mood. Ta. Well, that was pointless, because I can't actually get up here yet. So why did we come in this room? E experience points, I guess? Up. The best. Around! Clearly, I'm the best at this game! Aha! Okay. Stupid ghost. Where am I? I'm in some place. Smack dab in the middle of somewhere. Ow. Oh. You can't get rid of these guys just by flicking them, you actually have to hit them. I want to get up into that room over there. If I can. Ooh. First, I have to not fall off of all the platforms. And get hit in the head with a rock. That helps, too. What's over here? Ah! Monster Tome. This is the item that you need to do a thing. It opens the encyclopedia over here so you can look at the data of monsters you've defeated. That's what allows you to check for elemental weaknesses and stuff. <coughs> Oh, 
Oh, hey, plain circlet. What's this? A simple circlet. Okay, then. Cool. Yep. <coughs> that. Sure, let's put that new armor to the test. Okay, time to take another pa up. Uh, time to pause and then take a cut. Silk cloak. Boop. Cloak made from fine silk that it's extremely light. Well, not really any reason to equip it. I mean, it gives the same stats as other items, so... I guess it's just personal preference. Also get hit by ghosts. And another high HP max up that we can't reach. Drumstick! Yari! Castle wall chicken. Oh, no, not these guys. Fortunately, I'm tougher now. Also, I have access to ice, which they're weak to. Heart max up. It's locked. Well, ain't that a crying shame. Time to backtrack out. Don't touch me. We. Oui. Don't throw things at me. Down here. Nothing there. Another potion. We'll probably need this. Go away, you. Got... Gonna need to either A, start being more careful, or B, start popping potions. Probably going to be B, because what's being careful? Ram my face into every enemy. Clearly, that's the best way to play this game. Money. Ah. Oh. Ram my face into all the enemies. I have to use potions, I'm such a scrub. Only scrubs use healing items, real men beat the game without ever taking damage. We can't reach that candle. I think it has some money in it. But who cares if we can't reach it? I gotta backtrack here just for a, a bit of pocket change. That's a cross! It's another sub-weapon that I don't want because... holy buck. Maybe I'll show off what other sub-weapons do later, but for now, no. Screw that. Holy buck. Best around. Oh, hello. White dragon. Uh. It's dead now. Life max up. Full heal. Onward and downward. Oh, hello. Maxim, are you alright? Oh, uh, Juste, is that you? I'm glad you're alright. What's wrong with you? Standing around in the daze leaves you vulnerable. I, uh, I think I've been in this castle before. What did you say? I can't clearly recall, but I think I've been here before. Your memory's coming back to you? It seems so. I've been feeling strange since coming to the castle. If we continue a little further, perhaps I may be able to recall something. Come on, let's go together, Maxim. 
No, if we're gonna find Liddy, we must separate. We'll cover more ground. Hmm, yes, you're right. Be careful, Juste. Watch your back, too, Maxim. Well, okay. Apparently, he's been forging his way through the castle, too. Oh, hi, boss door! Let's go right in. Living armor? If you keep smacking it, you can push it backwards. Which is good, because otherwise it'll corner you. Bob, bob, bob. Nope. Yeah, if you could push it against the wall and then use the out, and then you use that attack, you wreck it. Get back over there. Take it. Worth it. Totally worth it! Pretty much out of MP, though. Now I'll have to fight it like a man. By whipping it repeatedly. It's not too late. Made that look like cake. Good! That's what I wanted to show off. Anyway, now we can pride through this door. Oh, hey, this looks familiar. Obtained lizard tail. By holding down and then pressing A, you can slide. Also, press this button. Boop. Junk, 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 junkity, junk. So, yeah, there are some new things we can do with this little, uh, shiny trinket. Let's see if I can't find at least one of them before I call the episode. Well, there's a save point right here. That helps. Maybe I could have used that. Well, forget it then. I guess we'll just call the episode right here with our slighty goodness and dead boss. <laughs>